Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to work with cutout tool, with the cutout tool and transparency in the Photoscape X. That's the photo tool which I actually use most of the time. It's pretty easy. It's free. I mean, most of the functions are free. It has some limitations, but it's a great tool. So how do we work with that here? That's my thumbnail for the current or for the latest video here. I wanted to insert this picture here. It has a white background, which is really nice to insert here, but still it's a little bit difficult when we open that in the Photoscape and go to the normal tools here. I mean, by the way, I start always with the normal editor here and use the insert and you insert everything I need at the end so I'm here now and then it automatically when you click on something usually it goes to tools where you can change the thing so if you have a bright background you can use with the blend mode sometimes you can Put, you can put something in front of something else but you can see because the background is a little bit dark it's really really super difficult to manage this here if we had like a much brighter background it would be easy but here it simply doesn't work so we need the extra tool like the cutout tool so what I do I open a separate window. We can do that here when we right click on that and we just click again on Photoscape X. Usually it should come up. I just make a new image here. So I'm here and I go to cut out and make it a little bit small so you can see everything hopefully here so I'll go back to the other window click on that uh, so I get these points around so I right click and make copy to clipboard and we go to the other window control V now we have it so what we need to is to remove the all the white space so yeah when we are at the cutout uh, we start with the magic eraser that's pretty good so we start at 50 percent and just try and you can see it didn't work so we can change this a little bit and yeah we can try around till we get a pretty good result yeah in this case it didn't work the first time it worked much better i have no clue yeah there's something with this picture this time but anyway it's working still when we go to the lowest setting yeah here it really doesn't work otherwise it deletes everything here so yeah for this case there was something but i'll still keep working i'm just using the lowest setting here and we click on everything which we don't need like this parts here the holes maybe here this part now i think we have everything i don't know if we need that yeah it doesn't go away anyway so you're pretty close actually and then we can press ctrl c again we go back to the other picture we delete that and we press ctrl v and then we have the new picture which has uh, the removed background that's much better than everything before it's not perfect here because something went really wrong i have no clue what went wrong here but you have to really make sure that you have uh, really a, a background which is pretty simple that helps a lot if you have complicated background that makes it of course a little bit more difficult you have also other options like the lasso you can remove parts like if you don't need that we can remove that or this part here or whatever uh, things you don't need or you can use the brush but yeah usually you don't need these things if you have something done wrong you can use ctrl c and bring everything 
back so that's a pretty cool thing because usually uh, before I had the thing I always went to GIMP like the GIMP tool which was super super complicated and I had to export this and here import and so on now I can do this here it's much more simple and it helps me to save a lot of time and this Photoscape X is a really nice thing because what I really like is that it keeps the parts together so you can yeah remove it even after you leave it here and it goes away you can still grab it later and remove or change shape or size or whatsoever so yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time